hey guys welcome back to my channel and hello everybody this is a common introduction your reading is following but it is very very necessary that i introduce the type of reading we are doing in this spread Alrighty, guys so i'm styling the whole series okay winning money and status by winning people and i'm a big believer in that when you are winning people when you understand people you're able to get them as supporters you're able to recruit them on your side and you are able to influence decisions so in business for career and money that is something that we should all be aware of and a lot of you are probably aware of the different personality types and maybe how to tackle how to handle them this is the focus of these readings guys we're going to break down four personality types and i'm shuffling and i'm going to demonstrate the first part and explain really the key elements of the spread so disc d-i-s-c okay we will be looking at the dominant persona we will look at the influencer persona we will look at the um, steady persona we will look at the compliant or conformist persona so the reading will go for cards i will throw and then i want to pull notes for you guys on how to handle the dominant persona and briefly let's describe them as such okay the dominant personality is likely okay an executive they're likely an owner likely they don't have to be but really master of their own world or universe right they want facts when they want them of course they would they would also like them to agree with them all the time but really they want facts when they want them they are able to sign they're able to write a check okay um, a lot of times and sometimes that could be also haphazard so we need to be aware of that persona the influencer is a little different um, now they are able to speak with all types of personas you will find that they are leaning more towards commercial roles where they are mainly you know what building relationships relationship building and management of that able to communicate with the dominant with the steady with the compliant etc etc or else they would not be the influencers but they are not the people who sign the check so there's a little bit of a difference here you still have to go through the dominant eventually then you have a different kind a third kind well we call that the steady the steady person is a person open for new ideas but really will not take huge risks the influencer may be able to take a little risk here they may be able to sway opinions to get support right the steady persona is really open-minded consistent at what they do creative to some extent but do not like to take many many risks so they will follow a group okay they will go with the flow steady right the compliant or the conformist persona is a different one and obviously you can guess they will go by the book i will comply by the policies i will comply by the work mode i will comply by not getting out of my lane i will not be taking risks for the most part okay not likely to engage in new initiatives but are they the main doers are they again consistent absolutely so as i described the four personality types several um business um you know what psychological assessments allude to those types and they may be called different things but you could even relate them to the court cards of the tarot um, if you consider the dominant as the king and it's not about gender guys it's just you know hierarchy if you will and the influencers as the queens and the steadies as the knights who will do things as you know what um, instructed or as told in a way a little bit of liberty to move but really you know within their lane still and then you can look at the compliant or conformist as pages now i don't think we have to really um, identify them as such but it was very important for me to come out and give you this intro before i do a reading now for each one of the signs so this is a common intro just to introduce the concept of disc the four personality types and how you guys can win them okay and how you guys can win money and status by winning those four personality types now please stick around your dedicated reading is coming next thank you guys hey aries all righty guys so this is our reading now let's see what we are going to do about disc hopefully you guys have seen the introduction and have an idea as to uh, the elements i'm using to break down the spread a question let me now turn the camera and let's see how we are going to lay it out so we're talking about this right d ah upside down no we play you this way d i s c and i feel like always saying oh 
disco <laughs> so the dominant persona okay the influencer persona right the steady persona this is so interesting and the compliant conformist persona um, I was wondering before we before I thought about putting the spread I was wondering what characters we may get into um, the four types of persona so we talked about dominant okay let's throw now three cards under each one of these this is a majors only these are majors only let's now throw um, three cards again and see what not to do what to do and a best path for getting along for communication for winning them okay forward so basically that becomes a three card spread under each of the energies and of course we're going to talk about each of the energies so let me first lay them out and then let's look at them together and then let's read okay uh can you guys see yes this is as you guys can tell this is kind of the first time i'm doing this and if i have to i'll get out of the frame which actually may be necessary no nah, not really we can space it out here and we can space this guy here and we should be able to fit okay alrighty and for the steady okay I'd still like to or maybe even get a smaller deck Aries but here we are and last but not least the compliant conformist two of five of and here we go with the knight of wands okay so a devil for the dominant persona a devil for the dominant persona to me represents in a way this could be a rationally dominant persona um this may resonate with you but in that case guys i'm looking at someone who is um looking for efficiencies who is looking for uh, obviously looking for uh, obedience in some sort okay looking to be heard in some sort they may have this uh, shall we say haphazard nature to things that they do so we're looking at them with a king of wands we're looking at them also with a ten of coins a ten of cups and also a nine of wands and those are energies as to how to cope with this um, energy of the dominant persona that wants to take decisions the way they like uh, they like answers to be quick and at the same time they like things happening on their own terms so we chop any okay elements of complacency what to okay here's the note what to let go off don't go along with them at the same pace here's a king of wands all right we're gonna let go of that king of wands energy we're going to process the information they send to us a little bit slower okay what to embrace more of and you got a ten of cups and a ten of cups suggests staying in your can we say comfort zone but comfort zone doesn't mean your desk it means your comfort zone around facts as you relay them to them okay as you relay facts to them this dominant personality likes facts okay they like them quick they like to have answers in a particular brief way okay so um spending less time being as excited as they may be even if they open up is probably a good thing right and it keeps you in their demand that you are not also wasting their time a best path forward with this personality is develop that skill of if they are hyper excited okay if they are hyper excited you bring it down one notch okay so we started off our three card spread with the king of wands and i was saying to you let go of that you are not them therefore you need to take a step back and at the same time when you are presenting what what to embrace more of is obviously completed projects completed ideas and at the same time over what's the word under promise so you can over deliver that gets you that keeps you in a comfort zone in that space the mentally comfort zone all right a best path forward is take their enthusiasm down a notch remember this energy also as much as they can make decisions on a whim they also take them back on a whim so bring it down a notch understanding that they can go back in what they decide right master of their own universe if you will now for the um influencers persona which is interesting that we got a, a pope here for that persona uh, the attraction of people the ability to talk as you saw in the intro to people at multiple levels i like this energy here we need a steady process with them okay here we have a four of swords and we also have a uh, knight of coins therefore okay the steady process we actually are asked 
to change that up a little bit, okay? If this persona is used to speaking to you from a point of authority, in a way, okay? You might want to change that. You might want to get them to open up in a different way, right? We're talking about personalities and how you may interact. So the status quo with this persona can change. You may be able to benefit more, to understand them more, okay? Being conservative is absolutely something you are asked to be around this personality. Conservative with sharing of big dreams, conservative of making, you know what, predictions that aren't real. So there is something here that says um, staying grounded, maybe listening more than speaking. Again, this is a knight that takes action but listens more. And at the same time, it takes uh, strength. It takes a way to uh, develop trust when you can take most advantage of this kind of personality and how it may help promote your ideas or even promote you if they are in that position of authority so we said let's break from the traditional cycle of how they view you let's change that let's shore up our courage and show that influencer type persona that you also have the ability to at times get out of your comfort zone if you will now with the dominant persona here we are reminding them okay here's the key hey boss you're the boss right you're the boss <laughs> so we keep reminding them that it's going to be their decision that the facts they are given are solid and apart from your own personal emotion and that you also may have doubt as to the level of amazing excitement they may get sometimes about some projects which may not always be viable so guys i am not painting a personality of a crazy person who is dominant who has the pen to sign and is hiring and firing people but for the most part um, i mean take the abstract and apply it to your situation apply it to past experiences now it's it's an interesting situation when you're dealing with a family business especially if it is a small family business especially if they're under like 20 employees and stuff like that it becomes a whole new different game but now let's look at our steady personality here let's look at how they work and they like information being presented in an analytical way. So this is one thing that we can do, but we are also also being asked not to do in a way. So how can I take the analysis paralysis <laughs> away from them? That's something that uh, we could be working on. Okay, that is something that we can perhaps mind in our communication with them, especially if you ask them for tasks, right? Analysis paralysis. The Queen of Cups says to what to let go of, and the Nine of Cups is what to embrace more of. So bringing ideas, projects, and suggestions to almost completion, and the best path forward is the rational creativity to convince them with logic. Hey, Mr. or Mrs. Steady, by the way, we have buy-in on this idea from so-and-so. By the way, this idea has potential and viability to bring us that much business, such and such. Always working on the creative side is a good opening for you with them because they are not super, super compliant. They also have that little bit of, I want to take a little bit of a chance to. I'd like to get creative as well. When I was describing them earlier, guys, I said, well, they're more like knights if I were to look at hierarchy. Um, they're more like knights. They can be given a task and be said, get this done. I don't care how you do it, but get this done in that time within those parameters. So they stay in a bit of a lane, but they can maneuver. So creativity is a key here. And they like clarity too, guys. So here's the sun. That was the card that we got for that persona. Clarity of intention. As if to say, let them know you are not a threat. How is that? So bluntly. To the compliant who will follow the lane and take instructions and at the same time, at the same time, want to um, stick to policies, right? Not too much deviation here. We have an energy of the uh, chariot. So here's your manual, basically. What you present to them should not be just in the early development of ideas, right? Uh, if you have a thought, it needs to be complete. If you have a project idea, it needs to be fully developed, even down to next steps. Who does what, etc., etc. Um, what we need to embrace more of with that kind of a persona here is how finding out how to excite them. Okay, so here is a five of wands. So we need to embrace a change of communication with this type of persona. Right now, conformist 
compliant does not mean dull and boring, okay? Conformist and compliant does not mean dull and boring at all. So here's the note as to what to embrace more of with them. Change the mode of communication, make it fun, okay? Be in their system in a way. Simple gestures, guys. Simple little thank yous. Simple little get you a coffee, stuff like that. And then you win a soldier who at least in their heart says, this is a friend. You know what, Aries is a friend of mine, at the very least. If I'm not going to support Aries, I'm neutral to them, right? All right, and the best path forward was really show them, show them the um, commitment that you have for your goals. We have here the Knight of Wands. The commitment that you have for their goals, for your goals, excite them, okay? That you have a shared goal. Remember, we said compliant, conformist, so they care about the system. They care about the organization. They care about the company and its success. So this would be one way to push forward with that kind of a persona. Um, I think we did all right on time, guys. This is our reading. It's the first crack at it, and I think it's very necessary. So this is now, you can call this the personal empowerment spread. Prior to that, we did a spread which I can call the personal growth or development spread, where we had the four cards, three and three. And then we have our typical business and work-life situation spread. I will keep finding creative and practical ways to come up with ways we could use tarot to spark ideas. Please let me know what you thought. I know it's a little different. Those of you who stayed to the end, do let me know too if you can. Uh, thank you so much, Aries. As always, guys, you should know we do love you madly. And bye for now, guys.